my playoff beard is gone. I had it for the hockey season. Rangers weren't in it, but I liked Washington Capitals, which Ovechkin finally got that Stanley Cup. Uh, him and the Washington Capitals overcame the very new team, the Las Vegas Golden Knights, and beat them after dropping the wild first game. Came back, won the next four games. So props to Ovechkin. I'm proud he won that. Uh, I'm actually going to be off to go get some merchandise real soon. Friday night, the Warriors dispatched the Cleveland Cavaliers. Four games to none in the NBA Finals, which is kind of really sad. LeBron put up 51 points, had some triple doubles, and Cavs still couldn't win. I really think the Warriors have gotten lucky over these last four years. Uh, they, they built a very, very good, solid team, but with Curry, with his ankle problems, which caused him to get a little bit of a lower contract, and they were able to put some more pieces together and get some better players and add a little bit more salary, adding Kevin Durant, and getting pretty lucky. The, War the Warriors probably shouldn't have won against the Rockets when the Rockets missed 27 straight three-pointers, and it's pretty bad. Had they made only a handful of those, the Warriors wouldn't have been in the finals. But, you know, props on the Warriors for taking up uh, and capitalizing on those opportunities. Now, we had a couple questions from the last video. Uh, the first one uh, was asking if the Yankees should trade any of their assets right now, and honestly, I think they should. Uh, but only for top-tier players. I don't want any more of this sunny gray garbage. I mean, yeah, I, I think he's a decent pitcher, but it, he's just not what they needed to trade all that talent for. They could have used it for somebody better. And when I say someone better, yes, Verlander was very big. He was a big leadership in the Astros and helping him win the title last year. But Verlander probably only has a couple good years left. He wasn't doing well for a good year or so, but he rediscovered himself and did a lot better. So props to him, but they don't need someone like Verlander. They need someone young entering their prime or just into their prime. That's what they need. And they need to get Clint Frazier up into the majors as soon as possible. Another question was, what's my favorite sports-related movie? And after a lot of agonizing thought, uh, Brewster's Millions. Richard Pryor's acting of trying to hide the big secret is just fantastic. It was great. Uh, it's just everything I love about a movie. It's about baseball, really good secret that needs to be kept, a really cool game. Uh, it's just great. It teaches valuable lessons about like using money, talking about politics. Speaking of politics, uh, you asked about the Donald Trump thing in the White House, and honestly, that wouldn't be my thing regardless. I wouldn't really want to go, not for political reasons. I just don't really care. But as a professional athlete, and you're invited, and that's something you've done before, or it's sort of expected, yes, do go. Uh, don't not go for petty reasons. Yes, I know all this national anthem stuff is crazy, and you want to stand up for yourself, or I guess not stand up for yourself. But it, it's just, it's petty, and this has honestly got to stop. I'll see you on Thursday.